Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alien Senpai. I am a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now we have done a couple of Black Sabbath songs and I've become a little familiar with Ozzy Osbourne, but y'all have been dying for me to check out the era of Black Sabbath with Ronnie James Dio and today is finally the day. I've been seeing all of your comments and this is the song I got requested so very much. So it's finally time to listen to it with y'all. I am very, very excited for this musical journey with y'all because I mean, y'all have never steered me wrong, so I know I'm in great hands. Before I press play on this video though, if you do enjoy this content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as it helps me out greatly and you'd never miss another reaction ever again. With that being started, let's get started with the Black Sabbath's Heaven and Hell Live. Uh, is it weird to say that it doesn't even sound like he's singing to us? It sounds like he's trying to seduce us, like he's making love to the song. Uh, completely different from when I saw the videos with Ozzy, both incredible singers. But this is this is just completely different to me. Um, but I'm really loving it. And the style, everything is just incredible. And I'm so excited because I already know I'm in for a treat. But I feel like I'm getting seduced here by Ronnie. And... I'm honestly a little bit okay with it because his voice is kind of like smooth like butter. Uh, but let's continue. And it's all He's amazing. He's just like feeling himself. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful bass line, man. Nice vibrato. a quick note um it sounds like i don't know if he's like freestyling uh with some of like the vibrato or adding changing a couple things around uh not sure if this is how it always sounded but it sounds like he kind of likes to play around with his voice um not comparing at all because they're con two completely different um genres and styles but his stage presence reminds me so much of freddie mercury i feel like freddie also kind of like made love to the music and really just felt that and i'm feeling that here the passion uh he knows he's incredible he has that stage presence the charisma the confidence and it's just he's just going out there to basically show you what he can do but i'm honestly wondering if some of those you know little runs and changes are um freestyle or if it's just like you know part of the song because it sounds like he's just kind of playing with it and it sounds incredible 
Uh, but let me know. I'm kind of curious about that. He seems like the kind of person that just, you know, likes to run with things and make them a little bit special. Kind of like, like they're not the same every single time. You know what I mean? But I want to hear more of uh, Sabbath with Ronnie James Dio. So let me know some other songs in this era. Please let me know in the comments. That way I can write these down and react to them as soon as possible. Because I, I just want to, I just want to explore this. This is so interesting and intriguing. Um, but yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Giving me the eyes too. Just taking us home, man. see that one more time i've never i've never seen a more rock and roll hair flip than this this is just iconic uh, you do us a favor then please get your hands on the phone song like this all right Confused. Just like to try one thing. Keep your hands up if you would. I'm going to sing it on and on and on. Just like to have you sing it after me if you would. Just one time and see what it goes like. Here we go. Right. On and on and on. Yes, very good, very good. Best so far. Okay, I love the hair flip. Thing. All the people in this front part surrounded by all the people on the sides. All of you, just don't do a thing. Just lay back for a second, all right? You're obviously the people with the most courage, and you got to the ticket office first, and you're the loudest, and you're all those things. So we don't need your help, so you just lay back if you would. JT, give me some lights, my son. So, you just come. It's all you people on the sides that we want. Your yes, and way up there in heaven. If you would, just you on the sides, all the way around. Clap your hands for this. Good cross, mate. Now just you 
on the side and sing along. You would? Here we go. You can be louder than ever. And you're going to show them how to do it, right? All right, here we go. Sing. On and on and on. Yeah. On and on and on. Okay, shake the place. On and on. because you like rock and roll music. Is that right? And you'll come back here to see whoever is a good rock and roll organization, right? But just remember, people think this means something other than what it really is. If you'd all join us, we'll tell you what it means. It means long live rock and roll. Put him up! Uh, I'm assuming, you know, there was a lot of hairspray going on in this era. Um, my mom did tell me she used about a bottle of hairspray in her days to get that, you know, signature poofiness and frizziness. Uh, but all that fire next to him was a little concerning because I'm like, I hope I hope he, he knows that he is highly flammable at this point. But I, I just got to say, I love so much. This is my first experience with Ronnie James Dio and I'm loving the stage presence, the way he commands an audience you know he has so much confidence about him and even if he's not confident he has a really good way of just kind of like faking it till you make it because i could not even tell i know um you know there is so many legendary people the person that comes to mind to me again is freddie like they both just you know had such a way of carrying themselves and i'm feeling it so much here um but he has just so much charm man it is it is one of the most wonderful things i've ever seen just seeing someone just be themselves and do not care and just give you pure unedited raw talent it's such an amazing sight to see uh but wow what a legend what a goddamn legend uh definitely one of the greatest of all time and i'm so glad i'm finally getting to get a little taste of their vocals i can't wait for more i'm just i'm just so excited for more um but yeah a little alarmed there for a second but he seems like he's fine so let's continue <laughs>
of the vocals and the guitars harmony that's that just sounds so incredible together <laughs> Something so interesting to me is it really sounds like Ronnie's voice is like opera meets metal. It was the perfect mix of beautiful vibratos, beautifully sustained vibratos. And that, you know, angst, that punch, that grittiness that rock and roll exudes. And, you know, I feel like they asked Ronnie before playing this, how rock and roll do you want this, you know, set to be, this song to be? He was just like, yes, that's all he says. Because this was everything that embodies, you know, the beauty that is, you know, rock and roll, heavy metal. This is what it stands for. It is charisma. It is confidence. It is power. It is just rawness. And it's not perfect. And that's what makes it perfect. If you catch me, like, you know, I love how he plays around with things. He, it's like he's dancing. He's making love to the song versus just singing it because anyone can sing a song read the lyrics and just sing it but when you you know sing it you dance with it you make love to this song that's what sets apart singers and artists and he has a way of painting that picture with his voice absolute magic absolutely incredible no editing no nothing just pure unedited magic and i loved every second of it and there is no denying he has one of the best stage presences i've ever seen probably ever and there's a few that comes to mind. You know, I did mention Freddie, but I got to say, like, he is just in a completely different caliber, completely different, you know, level. And I love that. I love seeing, you know, people just have fun with their music because nobody wants to go to a show and see someone be miserable or just be whatever. You want someone having as much fun playing than you are, you know, watching it. You know what I mean? You want to you want to know someone else is having that much fun playing their own music for you because they're excited. They know you're going to love it. They are happy with what they're putting out there to, you know, give them that much confidence on stage. And I, I thought it was perfection, absolute perfection. It's my first taste of Ronnie James Dio, and I'm already excited for my next. Uh, we've done a couple of Zappa songs with Ozzy, of course, and I'm going to listen to some of those as well. But, you know, we're in this musical journey, so we're going to explore all kinds. Um, but thank you so much for this recommendation. It's about time I checked out Dio. And I think y'all have told me he has some solo stuff as well. I'm not sure. And I think Ozzy also has some solo stuff. I'm kind of piecing everything together. But we'll get to it in due time. If I have not done your Black Sabbath recommendation yet, be patient with me. It's coming. I'm going to get through this discography as soon as possible as we are in a bunch of little rabbit holes at the moment. But trust me. 
we're going to be here for a while and we're going to continue to jam out to some phenomenal music together. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you'll never miss another video ever again. Uh, but if you do want to talk music with me, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd love to get to know you, play some games together, and just jam out to some music. But besides that, I also have videos every single day, so stay tuned. I'll be back tomorrow with some more reactions. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!